Thanks for joining me on Chicago Weather Talk, my YouTube channel, talking about the threat of severe weather late Saturday and Saturday night in particular. And I need to preface this by saying, first of all, I'm recording this late in the afternoon on Friday. So this will be dated by Saturday if you're watching this then or anytime afterwards, obviously. So make sure you stay alert. Make sure you have one, more than one source to get your weather alerts. You have redundant sources, a weather radio. Every home should have one of those. And also just a plain old radio you can listen to. You can watch TV. Your phone should be set up ideally to get weather alerts. But have redundant sources, more than one sources, to get your severe weather alerts during the day Saturday. I should also mention that overnight Friday into Saturday morning, don't want to diminish the threat for some severe weather, a slight risk for some of us. The chief threat from that is going to be some large hail. But the more widespread stuff probably coming during the day, it looks like, especially late afternoon tomorrow, uh, Saturday that is, and during the evening hours on, it looks like, Saturday night. So... What we're talking about and the concept I want to introduce to you is called the triple point. And I'll get to that in a second. It's basically when three fronts kind of converge in one point. But I want to start by showing you this is for uh, tomorrow afternoon. This is around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We've got a warm front right about here. You see that warm air nudging northward. Very moist or rich in moisture, this air with these strong southwesterly winds. Look at the 70s across downstate Illinois. We've got the front stretched across northern Illinois. We've got a cold front out to the west. And then we also have what's called an occluded front right here. And these fronts kind of coming together, converging late tomorrow in eastern Iowa and sliding into western Illinois. So what is a triple point? Well, it looks like this. If we break it down, you analyze a weather map, and you've got three fronts coming together. Again, this is an occluded front. Don't want to go into a lot of detail about that. It's basically when two fronts, a warm front and a cold front, catch up with each other. But it's a front. We've got a cold front right there, almost like a dry line here. And we've got a warm front uh, over to the east. Now, this is just an example. It's actually going to be further north than what's depicted on this map, and I'll show you here in a second. But I just want to take out all the other clutter to show you this is that point, the triple point, that near here, especially in the warm sector here in the southwest winds, uh, out ahead of the cold front, south of the warm front, that's where things could really boil up during the day tomorrow. Now, this is the forecast, the surface features tomorrow afternoon. This is around noon tomorrow. There's a triple point coming together across eastern Iowa. This is tomorrow evening, sliding into eastern Iowa and western Illinois, and there's that warm front. A lot of wind shear here. That means a change in wind speed and height with direction. Uh, very cold air aloft, so the atmosphere destabilizing. The one thing that could kind of mitigate this a little bit is if we have a lot of shower thunderstorm activity, not severe stuff during the early part of tomorrow, and we have a lot of cloud cover tomorrow, might limit the heating during the day tomorrow, might make the atmosphere more stable. But if that doesn't occur, everything's coming together to favor eastern Iowa, northern Illinois, western Illinois for the threat of severe weather. The Storm Prediction Center, the front lines for severe weather, has placed us tomorrow afternoon, actually tomorrow, tomorrow night, in either the slight in yellow, that's the city northward, enhanced risk area here in orange, south of the city, or the moderate risk area here in kind of this red across western Illinois. So what does that mean? Well, here are the risk categories here. For the city and northward, slight risk means sc scattered severe storms possible. Short-lived, uh, enhanced means getting a little bit more serious here. Slight risk can be serious too, but enhanced even more serious. Numerous severe storms possible, more persistent and widespread. And then the highest risk category tomorrow, west of the uh, city, well west and across western Illinois, the moderate risk, widespread severe storms likely. Uh, Long-lived, widespread, and intense. So we do have the risk of any one of those categories for tornadoes to spin up in particular though especially in the moderate risk area 15 percent chance which is actually doesn't sound like much but it's a lot when talking about severe weather risk 10 percent chance in that enhanced area south of the city and even a five percent chance area near the city itself so we can't diminish the threat of tornadoes tomorrow it looks like the greatest risk will be western illinois but damaging winds winds over 55 miles per hour 57 miles per hour and large hail inch diameter or more also a real big threat late tomorrow to tomorrow evening for sure. That's according to the Storm Prediction Center. Watching this triple point, this area of really unsettled weather move from central Illinois into western Illinois and eastern Iowa late tomorrow to tomorrow evening. This threat will probably diminish after sunset. The atmosphere tends to stabilize uh, for the most part as we get diurnal cooling. In other words, the sun goes down, the atmosphere settles down. But again, during the day tomorrow, you're either in a slight risk City northward, enhanced risk or a moderate risk for severe weather. So keep your eye to the sky. Stay tuned to what's going on tomorrow, no matter how you do it, no matter what your weather source is. But make sure you're alert tomorrow and stay safe. And I hope you learned something today. Thanks for joining me on Chicago Weather Talk.